Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we've got a few mail calls and a few unboxings to go through. So I decided to do a longer form video, kick back, have a couple of glasses of whiskey and look at some shiny stuff. So welcome all back to my channel. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching. First of all, though, I want to say a massive thank you to the Stack Collector for sending me this bottle of whiskey. This is a Japanese whiskey. It's called Habiki and it's a premium whiskey. And this was very kindly sent to me by the Stack Collector when my channel hit 10,000 subscribers. So really, really generous, really, really kind. Thank you very much, TSC. Really, really appreciate it. And as you can see, it is absolutely sinking down. Really, really enjoying this whiskey. I did actually want to keep it for special occasions, but I've been enjoying it too much. And I decided to finish this last bit on today's video. So before we get started, let's pour myself a nice glass of whiskey. Here we go, CPM. A nice corked bottle. Really, really nice. This glass is actually incredible. It looks more like a decanter than an actual bottle. So I really, really like it. I'm actually going to keep hold of this and I'm going to top it up with different whiskies just so that I can keep hold of the bottle because it's really cool. Look at this. It's got a glass top and it just looks really, really nice. So I'm actually, like I said, going to keep hold of this bottle and I'm going to reuse it. So yeah, thank you very much TSC, very, very kind of you, very, very generous. And as you can see, I've been really enjoying it. So cheers everyone. Mm, really nice. Right, so I'm gonna move that to one side so we've got a little bit more room. I'm gonna move over these as well. We always like to have a little bit of silver in the video to showcase. Like I said before in my last unboxing, this bar seems to make an appearance in pretty much every single one of my videos lately it's a really really nice piece one of my favorite bars most of my one kilo bars are away in storage in the safes but this one is being kept out and it's just really nice to be able to pick up a huge chunk of silver and just hold it and play around with it incredible piece we're going to pop that over there and I'm also going to put these American Silver Eagles back in their tube as well. There we go. Right, so where should we start? Let's start with this very first one here. And then we'll work our way through. Like I said, it's not just mail calls, it's also some unboxings. And some of these, I'm just having a look now, some of these I'm actually going to have to, to wait to unbox. Because this one's addressed to myself and mrs 365 and i've just remembered that she said she wanted to unbox this herself she wanted to unpackage this one herself so i know who that one's from that's from cider sound man so i'm really really excited to to see that i actually know what's inside there but mrs 365 doesn't so this one we're actually gonna have to put to one side and we're gonna have to wait because at the moment mrs 365 is is working so she can't do this one at the moment so i'm gonna put that to one side and if she finishes work whilst I'm still filming, then I will get that unboxed today. If not, that will have to be saved for a future video. But let's get straight into this first one. I've got the trusty scissors here. I find it a lot easier to use the scissors when you're doing the envelopes because you don't risk damaging any of the contents. Right, cool. So we have a, a letter here. Anything else in there? Yep, yeah, there's a couple more bits in there. Oh, wow, look, we've got a, a coin there as well. We also have a another sticker. Right, okay, so this is not a sticker. This is more like a business card. And this is actually from McDonald Bullion. Really cool, nice looking business card. Ah, I know what this is. This was actually something that I won on his... I think it was his 2000 subscriber live stream. So this is really cool. I actually completely forgot about this. Congrats on your silver Irish half crown. Thanks for everything you do. All the best, McDonnell Bullion. Brilliant, really, really cool. And this is my first half crown, I believe. Irish half crown. Really, really cool. I have no idea 
how much silver this contains, if it contains any silver at all. I'm guessing it does because it says on there silver. Does that say silver? Yeah, I think that says silver. Really fancy handwriting. Look at that. Really, really cool design. It's got a harp on the back. Really good condition as well. 1939. What a stunning looking coin. So thank you very much, McDonald Bullion. I really, really appreciate that. Like I said, I completely forgot I won that on your your live stream so that was a nice surprise so thank you very much i'll put that over to one side over here right next we're going to go for this one now this one has come all the way from the us i believe and i'm going to use the scissors again because like i said the scissors do tend to be a little bit safer when you're doing mail calls because you don't risk cutting through people's letters and stickers and things like that Although, with that being said, this is quite difficult to cut through. So I hope I'm not actually cutting through anything. No, I haven't cut through anything. Right, okay, wow. Okay, look, there's a few goodies in this one. So let's have a look what we've got. Wow, look at all these poker chips. Ah, I remember this. Right, okay, so this is from Zoltan Stacken. And I believe he also goes by the name Zoltan Aquatics. And he actually sent me an email um, about a month ago now, saying that he was going to send me over a few stickers and a few poker chips for me to send on to other creators here in the UK. So that's really cool. We've got a few different colours there. Really, really nice. Really like these designs. Got lots going on, lots of different colours in there. Oh, it's actually got a different side as well. Keep on stacking. I really like that side. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really nice designs these are. So thank you very, very much for sending me these. I will leave a link to every channel I mentioned in today's video in the description. So please do head over and subscribe and show your support. And for those of you that have channels here in the UK. I'm going to be sending these out to some of you. And we've also got some stickers here as well. Really, really nice stickers. And I believe we've got seven of those as well. So we've got seven stickers and seven poker chips. So really, really cool. And like I said, I will be sending those out. So stay tuned and keep an eye whose channel these next turn up on. So thank you very much, my friend, for sending me these over and I'll get those sent around for you as soon as possible. I'm actually running a little bit behind. I've had a few people reach out and ask for poker chips and stickers and things like that. And I've replied back saying, yeah, I'll get one over. But I actually haven't got round to it yet. I need to start putting some packs together, some sticker packs some poker chips and things like that. So when people do reach out and they ask for stickers and things like that, it's easy to do because at the moment, the stack of social stickers, they're in a big roll. I think I brought a thousand of them and they're in a huge roll and I've got to cut them individually. The same with the 365 stickers, they come on sheets. So I've got to cut them out individually as well. And my poker chips are, I think they're away in one of my saves. I accidentally put them away. I was tidying up my YouTube setup, my studio where I normally film. And I think I put, must have put all my poker chips in one of the boxes that I put in, in one of my saves. So the other day I was trying to find my 365 poker chips and I couldn't find them anywhere. And that's all I can think of. So, so yeah, I really need to start putting some packs together, almost getting some jiffy bags and putting a, a poker chip and a sticker and make a few of them up. So when people do reach out and ask for stickers and poker chips, I can just literally put a stamp on and send them straight away. So, so yeah, for those of you that have reached out to me asking for stickers, I will be getting them out to you very, very soon. Now, this one looks like it's also come from America. This one had customs fee to pay. Ah, oh, I think I know what this one is. This was one that was held in customs. This has been held in customs for a couple of weeks now. I had to pay, what was it? There we go, £13. Sometimes when you order from things from America, or people send you things from America, sometimes they get stuck in customs. Sometimes you get lucky and they slip through the net and you don't have to pay any customs, but other times they get held and then customs have to 
send you like a letter saying how much you owe and then you have to pay it and then eventually they send the item out to you so it does take quite some time ah i know what we've got here right okay so extra chips and stickers included just in case you would like to re-gift ah this is really cool okay so again this is another gift that i can't do just yet in today's video because i want to save it for a separate video right okay so let's let's explain what it is so this is actually a swap that i did with weld money wins i swapped one of my five ounce bars for one of his five ounce bars so it's a really really cool bar and i don't want to spoil the video but basically he was showcasing a five ounce bar on his channel and during the video he said cabbage and he didn't like the the five ounce bar he wasn't a, a massive fan of the five ounce bar so I reached out in the comment section. I said, I really like the look of that bar. And he replied saying, would you be up for a trade? So I said a five ounce bar that I had um, a duplicate of. And he said, yeah, he would really like that. And I actually sent him a pure Scottish silver bar, a five ounce bar. And I will leave a link to that video in today's video description so you can check it out. And inside here is the bar that he sent me in return. So like I said, I am actually going to save this for a separate video because... I've got something planned for this. So we'll put that again to one side. But what is also included is it's included some bits and pieces for me to send on to some of the other UK content creators. So you can see future investments. You have a parcel that will be coming very, very soon. The stack collector, you also have one. And Cobra stacker, you have one too. So really, really cool. I don't know exactly what are in these. He just asked me if I would mind forwarding these on. So that's what I'll be doing. And you'll see these turning up very soon in your PO boxes. So keep a lookout, guys. These will be on the way. So, yeah, thank you very much, Well Money Rins. Really, really cool. And I'm getting a bit of a pile over here now of things that I'm not going to be unboxing in today's video. So we've got this from Cider Sound Man, and now we have this from Well Money Rins. But keep a lookout because there will be some videos coming very, very soon showcasing those. But let's get into these two big boxes at the back now i believe i know what this top one is but i'm not a hundred percent sure what this one is so we're going to move this one to one side and we're going to start with this one right let's start unpackaging it so it fits on camera ah, okay right so on the corner there it says if you can see it i'm going to knock my whiskey over it says hello 365 now this actually arrived today so I'm not exactly sure what this is. I've, had, I've ordered a few bits and pieces. So I'm not exactly sure what we have inside this one. Oh, it's not the camera. But it's quite a large box. And the thing that I think it is, isn't that big. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we've got here. Here we go. Wow, look at this. Really, really nicely packaged. Lots of bubble wrap here. Right, okay, what have we got? Wow, look at this bubble wrap. Rolls of it, really, really nicely packaged. Ah, oh, I know what this is. This is from Cardiff Gold. Now I ordered a bottle of whiskey from Cardiff Gold, and they're very kindly included some extras in here as well. I ordered some whiskey and some copper. For those of you that haven't checked out Cardiff Gold's website, I will leave a link to it in today's video description. They are one of the best places that I found here in the UK to pick up copper. When I went through the stage, when I first started picking up bits of copper, I found it really difficult to find copper on UK bullion sites and Cardiff Gold is one of the only places in the UK that I found that actually stock it. So I think a few more now are starting to follow suit because copper has become quite a popular a bullion metal to pick up. Now, I've said it many times before, it's not a fantastic investment but it is a very nice fun metal and there's no harm in picking up a few bars in my opinion so that's what i did and i also picked up a nice bottle of whiskey because on cardiff gold they also do 
few bottles of whiskey. So it's kind of a, an all-rounder website for me, really, Cardiff Gold. They do gold, they do silver, they do copper, and they also do whiskey. So literally everything that I love all in one place. So I picked up this nice bottle of whiskey, and I've actually tried this before, and it's really, really nice. And it was actually quite a nice price as well. So thank you very much for sending me that. And I also picked up, I'm going to pop that over there. Let's see if I can make some room. There we go. And I, right, okay, so we have that. Oh, look at this. We've got some pens. We've got a miniature rugby ball. Oh, that's really cool. Look, that's the same make as the whiskey. Really cool. Single malt Welsh whiskey. What a cool piece. Now, I don't know, that's not the, I, I tell you what, I think the copper bars that I ordered are actually on pre-sale. So the copper bars aren't actually in here, they're five ounce bars. And I will actually put a picture on the screen now to show you how cool they look, because they look really, really nice. And they're actually on pre-sale, so they haven't actually got those in stock yet. So they'll be arriving in a separate package. But we will go through the other bits that they've sent me here. They sent me a little goodie bag here. Really, really kind of them. They sent me a couple of Cardiff Gold pens. Really nice pens. They actually sent me one of their Cardiff Gold pens before, and it was a different style to this, but it's a pen I use pretty much every single day. It's a really good quality pen. So I will actually include one of these pens, because I've got two, in one of the packages that I send someone with these stickers and the poker chip. So I'll send one of those out. And we've also got a Cardiff Gold business card. So there we go. That's all their details on there. That's where they're located. They've actually got a physical shop as well, not just a, a website. And that is their website there, www.cardiffgold.co.uk. That's really cool. So thank you very much for the little goodie bag. And we've also got what we've got here. Another little package here. Ah, this is what I ordered as well. I forgot about this. So I ordered two, was it two or three? I can't remember now. I either ordered two or three five ounce bars. And like I said, they're on pre-sale, so they won't arrive for a couple more weeks. But I also, at the same time, ordered a copper round. And this one's really cool. This is, let me show you, an alien round. An Area 51 will be back. Really, really cool looking design. And I literally just started looking through their copper pieces after ordering the copper bar. And this one really, really stuck out. Really nice looking piece. Copper, three nines fine. And it's even come in a capsule as well. A, a really cool looking piece. This is one of those easy to open capsules. So I can actually show you the, the copper. Look at that. What a stunning metal. I'm a huge fan. For those of you that have been watching my channel for any length of time will know this already. I'm a huge fan of Copper Bullion. Like I said, it's not the greatest investment. You pay a huge premium when buying copper in bullion form. But I just think it looks so, so nice. Really, really nice. And it's, it's nice and cheap to pick up. I believe this piece was on sale, reduced from, I think it was £9 to £5 or something like that. So way over kind of the spot price for an ounce of copper. But still, when you're buying something like this, you're buying the artwork, you're buying the time that's gone into to making this piece. The same amount of time goes into making something like this as a one ounce silver piece. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Look at that. You've got the earth there in the back. You've got, almost looks like the... C19 sign there as well, which is is cool. But yeah, 
Really, really nice looking piece. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Have you got copper in your stack or is it something that you steer well clear of? I'll be interested to hear. And like I said, I've also got two or three, I can't remember now, five ounce copper bars on the way. So I'm looking forward to seeing how those look in the hand. Now I've actually saved one of the best pieces till last. And this is actually something that a company called Trusty Metrics has sent me. And they've actually sent me this and they're sponsoring a couple of videos. And I'm really, really excited to show you what this is. And this will be the first time I've actually got my hands on one of these. Really nicely packaged, look at that. Right, now let's see who can guess what this is before I unpackage it. For those of you that have seen the thumbnail, I'm probably gonna end up putting this in the thumbnail, so you probably already know what this is. But like I said, I've actually been sent this to, to use to make a few videos as a kind of sponsorship agreement with this company. But it's also going to really, really benefit me because, as you can see, it is a Sigma machine. And I've not actually tested properly any of my precious metals in my stack. I've done all the kind of usual checks that you do when you pick up precious metals. But in terms of actually putting it on a machine, I haven't actually done that yet. So this is going to be really interesting to see if I have any fakes in my stack because... Up to this point, I have actually been buying from reputable places, so I don't really take many risks. I don't buy a lot of my precious metals from eBay. But with that being said, I have brought a few pieces from eBay in my time. And you can see that this is one of their newer models, I believe. This is called the Investor. Now, what this does, this actually tests through the metal. So when you look at some of the the kind of less expensive Sigma machines, the ones that you see showcased more regularly, they actually only test the outside and slightly in the metal. So they do go in a little bit with a one ounce coin. They pretty much penetrate it. But when you're testing things like this that are a little bit thicker, they're actually only testing a certain depth down. Whereas this particular model, and like I said, this is called the Investor, this actually checks through the metal. So you actually put the metal underneath here, you push this down and this actually tests the whole way through. So in my opinion, this is probably a, a safer option, a more reliable way of checking if your precious metals is legit, especially if you have some, some of the larger pieces like sort of the two ounce and upwards. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting stuck in and trying this out. I'm not gonna take it all apart now and go through it, because I like the idea of my first video trying this out, just setting the camera up and just seeing how I get on, seeing how easy it is to set up. I'm not going to be researching the instructions or following any guides or anything. I'm just going to literally plug it in and I'm going to set the camera roll in and I'm going to see how easy it is to work out because I've watched a few videos on other people's channels. I saw when Backyard Bullion was sent this same piece. I believe this is the, the kind of show piece that they send to different people to to try out and showcase on their channels and if i'm correct in saying this is the same piece that backyard bullion was also fairly recently sent to showcase on his channel so i have seen his video of how it's kind of used but like i said i'm not going to follow any instructions i'm just going to plug it in and i'm going to have a play around and we're going to see how easy it is to do so yeah really really exciting i'm really excited to see if i've actually got any fakes in my collection because like I said I haven't checked properly up till now I've done the normal kind of ping tests where you do the ping tests and I've done where you put ice on the coins and the, the dimension test and like I said most of my precious metals have been brought from reputable sources so that's always the best thing to do when you're buying precious metals instead of buying and taking the risk by going to eBay and Etsy and some of these places. And don't get me wrong, when I say going on eBay and Etsy, you can get legit stuff on there. There's a number of pourers that I personally buy from, Silverpunk, 
pure Scottish silver, they use Etsy and eBay to sell their products. But at the same time, it's a lot more risky than going to some of the other places. So you've got to be very, very careful when you're picking up from the secondhand market. In my opinion, the Silver Forum is one of the, the safest places if you're buying secondhand. I've said that in many, many videos in the past. I really, really do like the Silver Forum for picking up precious metals. I think it's actually a great way to pick up precious metals because you're saving that VAT here in the UK. And also you're buying from people that are also stackers as well themselves. So when you get sent things, they're really nicely packaged and quite often in the pictures, the person owns one of these machines. They own a Sigma machine. They actually show you the, the piece that you're buying on the Sigma machine. So, so yeah, that's the main thing to remember. Always buy from reputable places. But I think we're going to wrap the video up there because that is everything we have to go through. I'm actually really excited to play around with this. I can't wait to go into my safe and bring out some different pieces. I'm going to try and bring out some pieces that you haven't seen on this channel before. And then we're going to have a video. I'll probably have a couple of glasses of whiskey. We'll set this up and we'll just sit there and we'll go through a few pieces in my stack and we'll test them and see if they're, they're real or not. So yeah, really, really looking forward to having a, a play around with this. This is actually, like I said, sent to me by Trusty Metrics, and Trusty Metrics are actually the, the UK exclusive provider of Sigma machines. So up until this point, it's been very hard to get hold of a Sigma machine here in the UK. You had to buy it from the US or buy it secondhand from someone in the UK. So you didn't have that kind of warranty or that support. Whereas now this company, I believe it's a fairly new company, is based in the UK. So when you're buying these machines brand new, they're actually coming from a, a UK supplier. And like I said, they're the exclusive supplier. So, so yeah, like I said, they've actually sent me this. They sponsored the next few videos that I use this machine in. So that's really, really kind of them. So massive shout out to Trusty Metrics. I really, really appreciate it. It's a small family run business and it's really nice that they They've reached out to me and they want to work alongside me. So I will leave a link to their website in today's video description also. So you can go and check out their other products. I actually chose this piece. They, they reached out and they said, would I be interested in, in showcasing one of their products? And I had a look on their site and this was the piece that caught my eye the most because it, it does the most, in my opinion, for the price point. So yeah, really cool piece. And we're going to go through that in a little bit more detail in a future video. But we're going to wrap this video up there because I think I've gone on for long enough. I believe this video is going to be around half an hour long. So massive thank you to everyone that's watched today's video. Have a quick swig of whiskey. Every single website and channel that I mentioned in today's video will be in the video description. So please do head down there and show your support. Give them a subscribe and let them know that 365 sent you over. I really, really appreciate that. As always, thank you very much for watching my videos and I hope you have a very nice day.